Pao to Yu-Gi-Oh! Powerful combos! <laughs> All right. I'm gonna talk about powerful combos. So let us begin. What is a powerful combo? A powerful combo are a series of effects that are linked with chains to perform a counter to your opponent's plate. And this all begins with understanding that every card in Yu-Gi-Oh has an activation condition. Makes total sense. What is an activation condition you ask? An activation condition are the effects on a card that are needed for that card to activate. For example, let's take a card like Twin Twister. Twin Twister is a quick play spell with the following effect. You can discard one card in order to destroy two spell or traps on your opponent's side of the field. So the activation condition is discarding one card. Now, when it comes to powerful combos, it is important to understand the activation conditions on your cards that are on the field at that particular moment. So say for example, you've set Twin Twister on your field or it's in your hand. First of all, because it's a quick play spell, this is a card that can be used in response to your opponent's effect. Furthermore, being a quick play spell means that this is the sort of card that can be played in any phase. So that therein lies another factor in powerful combos that you can even start this combo way before your main phase begins. But cutting all that aside anyways, the point is, is that powerful combos rely on one, the activation condition, and two, the cards that you have on the field or in your hand. So it's important to, to note this, that your activation condition is important. I can't change the laws of Yu-Gi-Oh! So what's an example of a powerful combo? Well, the example of a powerful combo is one, when you have a game state on the board, right? that is initiated through your effects to counter your opponent. So this is where you get, for example, a searcher card, like let's say Reinforcement of the Army. Um, you know, it's a normal spell allowing you to add a level four or lower warrior type monster from your deck to your hand. So you add the set, set you know, special warrior from your deck to your hand you then either normal summon it or special summon it, depending on the effect the warrior that you searched has. And usually 90% 90, uh, 90 of the time, if your deck is constructed in the correct way, the card that you have searched with this, uh, you know, searcher card will be a combo starter, allowing you to perform this powerful combo. So with a card like Reinforcement of the Army, you could search, let's say, you know, Elemental Hero Stratus, and this would allow you to enter a series of combos, you know, normal summon Stratus, allowing you to add Vision Hero Faris. Faris would then, you know, discard a card and special summon another hero from your deck, and you're all into the powerful combo wombos. I totally relate to that. <laughs> so essentially, when it comes to a powerful combo, it's it first of all starts with a searcher. It starts with a positive effect that you activate to increase the boards increase the board on the cards that you have on the field either by searching a card or by countering on a, a card that your opponent has on the field in order to initiate the effects that you have on the field or the cards that you have in your hand so remember powerful combos are initiated by as i said earlier one having you know an active knowing the activation condition in your cards two uh, I'm now stating as well, having uh, you know positive effects that improve the game state that you're currently in. That's by you know having a searcher card, having a negation you know, down there to counter the plays your opponent is currently doing at the moment. Okay, I think that's about it.
smoke weed every day. Yeah, so there's not really much I've got to say about powerful combos, really. It's powerful. I've covered the majority of what it is. So it's just, as the conclusion for it is just basically, you know, one, again, it relies on the activation condition of cards. So realizing the activation condition of your cards that are in on the field or in your hand is important. And the second thing is the state of the game. The you know the the game state understanding the game state is important as this will allow you this will allow you to see whether it is viable or you know doable to to initiate a powerful combo either on your turn or on your opponent's turn depending on the kind of strategy that you are going to to do but i will be watching studying directly. i have spoken Okay, and I think that's about it. So I just want to say, like, you know, I think I'm going to cut this video, you know, to a close. So all I want to say now is just remember to maybe look on your left-hand side or your right-hand side. And some icons should appear on other videos that I have on my channel. Just try it. Yeah. So all I want to say is that, you know, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master, you know. Possibly, you know, like and like and subscribe. Uh, don't, you know, like and subscribe. You know this video, and some other things will appear now. You know, like showcasing the, the videos that I have on my channel. So hope to see you soon. Hopefully, I've lit up the situation. <laughs> Goodbye.